there's a very real chance George Floyd did not die from asphyxiation. Hi, um, welcome back. This is part two. For those who didn't see part one, I basically was just addressing um, some of the claims that this creator made um, that led to his ultimate uh, conclusion at the end um, that in his opinion, George Floyd died from a fentanyl overdose and not from asphyxiation. Uh, I think I could continue to go on about where there are flaws um, in his claims from a physiologic perspective, but I think that I've addressed that enough. Um, what I would like to address is this idea that because we have access to so much information on social media and the internet, which is generally a good thing, it's generally a good thing, um, but because we have access to that information, sometimes we, um, and not everybody, but sometimes some people can feel that they are experts or have room to make informed opinions on topics that they probably don't, that they probably should seek some more expert knowledge before forming said opinion. And I think that this creator made a big misstep in um, forming these opinions with, I'm assuming no medical background. I, I'm, I'm hoping at this point there's no medical background behind his opinions um, because yeah, like it's just, it was so, so inaccurate. And, you know, we're talking about somebody, he talks about how, oh, this man wasn't a saint, he wasn't an angel. No one has said, that's not anyone's argument. No one's argument was that he was making all the right decisions and not com didn't commit any crimes. That's not what people are saying. What they're saying is that those cops in that moment became judge, jury, and executioner. And that is not their role as a public servant, as somebody who is there to protect the community that they are meant to be serving. And so... I just get frustrated when I see opinions that become viral and are, you know, to the comment, the lay person who has no medical experience, they might've looked at that and said, wow, like, yeah, look at that autopsy report. And like, man, he's making good points, but like, he's not making good points at all. They are wildly inaccurate and flawed and very harmful when you start to then use misinformed opinion to make these greater statements about what the black community should be doing and who the black community should be uplifting. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I hope that this offers another, uh, perspective on this conversation. And I hope that it, you know, it's been three years. I hope that we can finally come to some understanding about what actually happened with George Floyd.